Hi, we're very excited that you are joining us. We are going to be talking about our topic of the month, which is what women don't know about the men they love. But the one thing that you do know is it's Lori and Bob here right now. That's right. So Bob and I just celebrated our 23rd anniversary. And how much do I really know about you, Bob? Well, I think you think you know a lot about me. And yet after 23 years plus, there's a lot that you don't know, and I guess I should tell you what that is, <laughs> if I could figure it out myself. Sometime. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah. It's hard to, to conceptualize sometimes. It kind of, th relationships just happen. That's the problem sometimes. Yeah. Well, we are going to dive deep into the head, heart, and hormones of men this month so that you guys can help us women understand you more. Yeah, I think that would um, help in uh, smoothing out some of the rough edges of a relationship. That's if right. You, if you knew what you were dealing with. Yes. We don't a lot of times say what's going on with us. I exactly. think we keep hold, what about, hold our cards close to our chest so you, someone can see. And well, what's, the, what's the point of that? Right. So, Bob, share one of these secrets with our folks here about what women don't know about men. Okay. Women. Now... Repeat after me. Men are sensitive creatures with hearts that feel and, and have a tough time of being vulnerable. All right. I'll bet a lot of women don't know that. And it even hurts saying that. It's kind of scary thinking about all those women out there. Yet, the, 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 the paradox is this is exactly what women don't know but probably want to hear. Yes. So what happened last night, Bob? Uh, pain. Painful. Um, I was, I was really, I think, doing very, very well on our anniversary weekend. Yeah. And, um, nothing really special, but I was very, very, very loving, very connected. Right. Um, and, 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 and approaching true vulnerability and sensitivity, which every man should try to approach and actually enter into. At least once a year on your yeah. anniversary. Yeah, right, right. So I was doing, yeah, so I was doing good there. And so, uh, in the midst of uh, all these, uh, all this um, openness and, and connectedness, I, I took a little nap. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, after after it was after we had done a lot of different things, and I took a, a little nap. And then, Laura, you got on the phone, and I had missed a message from a doctor saying that if I didn't cancel 24 hours in advance, we'd get charged. And Laurie startles me out of my reverie. And is 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 quite uh, um, uh, pointed in explaining to me that I missed this call. Did I call? We're gonna get charged. As it turned out, um, I went to the doctor and everything's fine. But I thought, my God! In the midst of all this, as she's uh, um, uh, talking to me, uh, uh, I'm thinking, oh my God! It sounds rather harsh. And after all that I've given her. Uh, what is that? So I immediately, I immediately kind of shut off, kind of entered a victimhood mentality. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was quiet. And then I thought I spoke, but no, you spoke. And I said, what, are you angry? And you said yes. And I said, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She kind of was the entree in helping me into explaining what was going on. And that, I really, really needed that. I guess I would have snapped out of it eventually. But you, someone's got to really, really approach it and you did mm -hmm. so okay. so that was um, that was important and then I was able to tell you I was still hurt though but um, and I, I it was hard to kind of get back close but um, once we talked about it right we were fine. yeah it was okay and and I was able to not brood but able to feel my feelings and and we were okay with that because I'm sure I've hurt you so why don't men tell their their the, the person who they love What's going on with them? That's why they don't know. We don't tell them. And the question that I have to ask and think about is, why don't I just tell her what she doesn't know? Why don't you? Because sometimes I'm scared to. Sometimes, I mean, guys would rather get angry than be vulnerable. Guys would rather get angry then be one, sensitive. Ask him what's wrong and ask him specifically what he, he's angry about and listen 
and uh, then apologize. Yeah, and don't be ang you don't have to be angry back. Just be sensitive. And that draws up my sensitivity. Her anger would draw up my anger back. Her sensitivity brings my sensitivity back. And by the way, I forgive you. Thank you, and I accept your apology. Oh, wow, good. Okay. Now, we also wanted to let you know that we are going to have some wonderful things happening this month. Um, you can join us on our blog and on our website at relationshipswork.com. We're going to be talking all month about men and what women need to know about our wonderful husbands. Right, sweetie? Yes. Yeah. And we're going to be doing that on Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter. And we have a couple of resources for you that I wanted to tell you about. We have an e-booklet called 10 Tips for Getting Him to Talk. You know, Bob, some men don't like to talk. It takes a little prying sometimes. Right. So we have practical suggestions in this e-booklet that you can download for free on how to get your guy to open up. And then we also have an audio program called Breakthrough, the communication skills every couple needs. And in this, Bob and I talk about a five-step approach to communicating with your partner in a way so that the relationship can survive and thrive. And lastly, we have a wonderful teleclass coming up on April 28th from 8 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. And it is called The Five Secrets Every Woman Needs to Know About Men. Right. And I can't wait. Well, I learn a lot from the guys that I work with. And uh, I'm learning all the time about myself and what yes. they, they reveal. And I will reveal it to all of you. Here are the five questions that we're going to be addressing. <clears throat> what makes a man vulnerable? What makes a woman most attractive to a man? How does a man view sex with the woman that he loves? Why do men need their alone time? And lastly, what do men really want from women? So we are very excited about that teleclass, which is free. All you have to do is go to our website, relationshipswork.com, and sign up, and uh, we'll be talking to you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Take care. Take care.